Texas Art and Soul and Pixie, her daughter. And can y'all see blue? Blue's right here. Aww. Here's the fabulous Christmas doll. <laughs> He's gonna hang out with us. I'm gonna actually teach y'all um, how I use vinyl stenciling to create a Christmas painting. He's like sitting right behind me. And Pixie is going to be video making. That on YouTube? Do what? About the vinyl sticker on YouTube. Yeah, there's some vinyl. Yeah, that's very true. Thank you. That we did. Yes. We I actually made a very beautiful unicorn painting that's over there. Yes, using this over. massive vinyl cutter behind us right here. And I do it a lot for some of my painting events as well. And then Pixie's going to be making what? I'm going to be making bows, hair bows, all out of ribbon, and <laughs> scissors, and... Um, What's this stuff called again? Pipe, Pipe cleaners. cleaners. Um, so let's get started. Yeah, let's get started. So basically I'm using a dental tool and then I already pre-cut. You're going to see, be able to see this way better in a minute, but it's a truck and a tree. And then I'm going to show you how easy it is just to kind of take all of this little stuff out and then paint it. So y'all can watch us. We're just going to if y'all have questions, hopefully we can see the feed. That is so cool. It looks like a tree. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to look like a real tree. I know. See already how I'm taking it off? So basically you're taking in the you're taking out the guts and then I feel like since the oh, selfie right stick, here. is there the lines that are covering that we see? I know we can't really I, see ourselves. I feel like they can't see us there. I feel like there's gonna be lines in Can y'all see us? Just pick yes if you can. If you're watching the replay, you can just, um, hopefully it showed up. <laughs> we'll know, because yeah. we're just going to do our... Well, hopefully the stick thing is going to show up, but everything else. Gonna, we're just going to do All our right. work. So I'm going to do this for a little bit while she shows you a bow okay. making, and then we'll go back and forth. All right. To make the bow, you need ribbon, lots of it. Well, not a lot. Just the same size, not width, like height. But that way. <laughs> and so How did I get oh I got red paint on the corner. I'm like, why is there red paint all over me? And that's sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I'm trying to talk here. Sorry. Okay. Um so I have this pretty striped red, it's really shiny. Right there. And this pretty poinsettia type ribbon, which is really pretty. That's why I was like, <gasps> whenever I saw the ribbon. <laughs> yeah, Michael's had a this huge sale today. This gold ribbon. And this green ribbon that reminds me of a Christmas tree because it looks like it had like, glitter in it, but that's probably from the other ribbons that we have because we have like, a ton of ribbons that we're not using. But we used some. And then, where did I put the white? Well, we just bought it, yeah. so and <laughs> it will be used. White ribbon. I'm using this thin white ribbon. So the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to pick a ribbon. I'm going to go with the striped one. And I'm going to cut it the length that I want it to be cut. I'm going to go with about this long. And you're going to cut all your other ribbons the exact same length. Oh, and if you can hear us, if you'll just let us know if you can hear us. And then also tell us where you're from. Um, Sometimes it's cool to see who's tuning in. Can I tell them about my radio experience? <gasps> yes, Pixie had a cool radio experience today. I wasn't really on the radio, but I talked to, okay, you know the radio station KLTY? We listen to it every single morning on the way to school. Well, on Saturdays and Sundays, we still listen to it. <laughs> but, uh, Pretty much all the time. Yeah. Uh, I actually, whoops. <laughs> I wanted to call. Lost your ribbon. <laughs> I wanted to call KLTY, and my mom's just like, "Yeah, sure." I'm just like, "What? Like seriously?" And she's like, "Yeah, go ahead." So I grabbed her phone, and she has a whole contact for KLTY. I try to win their secret <laughs> sound contest. Yeah, and um, and it, I called them, and Tony, who's on there, actually answered me. And I was so surprised. It took like five minutes for it to finally get through. 
and he actually answered me. I'm, and he's just like, hello, this is KLTY in Productions. I'm just like, hi. <laughs> she was so scared. Hi. She didn't know what to say. Yeah. And he's just like, hi, how are you? I'm just like, hi. <laughs> and then he, he's like, well, how's your day been? I'm just like, good. <laughs> and I was so nervous. And he, um... What did I say? I forgot. He goes, well, are you having a good day? I said. And he said, yeah, yeah, yes. yes. <laughs> and then he said, well, is there something I can do for you? <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't know. And he's like, any song requests that you want? I'm just like, will you play God's Not Dead? He's like, sure, I can do what I, I I'll try to get that on there. I, I can, I'll see what I can do. I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> And um, and then the girl usually does then, not lack confidence. So yeah, I'm usually tell. just like I'm on the radio. Okay, woo! Hey, 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 everybody! Like that. But on this, I I watch him. Every, well, I don't watch him. I hear him and hear the, all their songs every single morning. I was just like. <laughs> That's really loud. Anyway, okay, let me tell what I'm doing, and then you can do your next okay. year story. Okay, so this is called transfer tape. This is really important when you're doing vinyl. So just to refresh those of you that are just joining, I used a dental tool. Well, first I used my big um, awesome U.S. cutter behind me. Um, if you're interested in that, check out my website on the shop tab. You can look at it. And then also I have a dental tool. Not for my teeth, but I mean, you could use it. I bought them from Harbor Freight. And then, um, and actually a couple come with the starter pack, the Texas Art and Soul starter pack. I printed this out and then now I picked out all the insides. Now I'm gonna put transfer tape on top of it and I'm just gonna kind of lay it on there like this. I am not a perfectionist as you can see because it really doesn't matter. This is a one-time use, it's gonna be thrown away in a few minutes anyway. So I'm just gonna cut it. And then, put that aside. Now I have this clear thing on the front, okay? So just to help me not be so crazy, I'm just gonna kinda cut this off. Can y'all see blue back there? Chill. Don't lift them. Oh, there he is, can you see him? He's just chilling behind right, me. Right, that's right. how, like, when I'm painting during the day, that's usually where his little spot is. I have to, like, sit on That looks like I just kissed your bottom. Oh, she's <laughs> kissing blue. Yes, blue is right here. No, I'm not kissing her bottom. That's just <laughs> That would be very awkward. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm cutting this off, and now I'm going to take the backing off first. So basically, there's three pieces here. There's the backing, the actual part I'm going to use the stencil for, and then the clear part. So I'm going to take the backing off first. And this one is a little more challenging if you've never used vinyl before because it is such a giant sticker. And um, it's kind of like a sticker you use on your car. See how the little pieces try to come off? I'm going to actually push those back in. So whenever I do this at paint parties for um, different quotes or different things we use, um, it has really, really changed my paint parties. Um, I used to, you know, always just freehand stuff, or I would um, just, you know, if people needed help, I would write it out, which I still do on small things. The only thing that I did freehanding here was the background. Everything oh, yeah. else on here um, was the vinyl sticker. Yeah, Pixie, we did a video on YouTube, and it has her creating that one. Oh, and my, my initials, but other than that, Everything else was from the vinyl. But the coolest thing is, is um, you know, if you are teaching paint parties, and or maybe you're wanting to teach paint parties and you're nervous because you're not really sure if you have, um, you know, maybe you're you're crafty. You say you're crafty, but you're not artsy. Um, I'm crafty. I'm not artsy. I think you're artsy. I think most people who say they're crafty are really artsy too. I'm um, very crafty. You don't have to like know how to paint an oil painting to be considered an artist. Aren't okay? I very crafty? Yes, you're very crafty and artsy. Okay, can I finish this? Okay, so while I'm doing this, she's going to finish her ribbon stuff. And then I'll... And my oh, and this is where I'm at so far. So I'm pulling these pieces And down. I just finished cutting all my ribbon. I have one, two, three, four, 
five pieces of ribbon. Okay, so now what you're gonna do, and you're gonna, can you see it? Oh, it probably Make sure you're sticking out for you. Uh, you have to take one piece of ribbon, I'm taking my green, and you place it longwise. Long way? Whatever. And I do it in a cross. Do it however you want. I'm not good at ribbon making. I'm trying to learn. Yeah, she tried to do one. It just it turned out really bad. <laughs> but I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna learn. Uh -huh. And you make a cross or a T with it or a plus sign, whatever <laughs> that is. And you're gonna layer it. So the next one I have on the bottom, my green, which is longwise. Then on top of that, this way, like this, not this way. Uh, is my red striped. Then I take my white and I put it on top of the green, but which is over the red. <laughs> That's kind of confusing. And then I take my gold and I'm going to put it over the white, but on top of the red. And I'm going to take my poinsettias and I do the same that I did with the white, but over the gold. And Oh, that's so pretty. So, what are you making these for again? Um, you can make them for your friends as a Christmas present um, or just for yourself. And they can be hair bows, bows for um, presents. They can be bows that you glue on to paintings. You can glue them on to crafts that you do. You can do anything with these bows. Um, any place the bow goes that you can <laughs> tie on um, pipe cleaner to, that's basically where it goes. <laughs> um, yeah, because those pipe cleaners with the wire in it will have some sturdiness yes. to it. Yes. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> I tell people at my paint parties to use a buddy for this. So I just did this by myself and it was... I always do it by myself. Very challenging. I never do it with buddy. Pieces. I'm lone wolf. We're lone I'm wolves. Lone wolf. well, unless we're working together. Yeah. Anyway, so now you're going to take the pipe cleaner that you have. Mine's gold to go with the Christmas theme. And I am just going to go right over it. The ways that my um, mine haven't come. Somebody's saying hi. I think they said hi. Uh, hi. We no, it says it, it is oh, watching. Oh, well, okay. Is watching. Thank oh, you for watching. <laughs> we can't see part of our screen because of the thing holding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you're going to basically have the cross, kind of a slanted cross, and you're going to take it and place it over. I don't know if you can see that. Oh. I'm not sure what you're doing. Well, the light, the way the light is. You're going to place it over, and then you're going to pick all of them up, and you're going to twist it around like that, and then twist it underneath. That's awesome. Oh, and then you could just tie it to a ponytail holder. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was probably concentrating on these little pieces. Yeah. And then, now, this is the part that you can tie it on to anything. And it's not very good. Let me see. Oh, that's cute. Like those in your ponytail turn around. That would be cute for Christmas. There's a bow. Yeah, I like it. And I have a around. better one that I did. That I did the pipe cleaner, but I made the pipe cleaner go into the ribbon. And it looks like that. But yeah, so that's how you make the Christmas bow. So anyway, back to my story about the oh, radio thing. Hold that thought. Oh. Okay, so real quick, I am tearing half of this off right now so you can see it. Am I allowed to read on the live video? Oh. Poppy's on. Hi, Dad. Hi, Poppy. Um, so I'm tearing half of this off right now so you can see it. And this part's a little tricky if you're doing a bigger stencil. And if you're doing smaller stencils, it's really easy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's really easy, but with the bigger stencil, you have to go really slow. So in a second, you'll be able to see the painting. And we'll try to end. Um... Now will you answer my question? Am okay. I allowed to eat on live videos? Of course, but please don't get it on my painting. I don't want chocolate milk cereal. I'm don't get your paint on my bows. Um, yeah, that might happen. Oh, oh. I'll try not to. Okay, so finish your story about the radio station. Oh, 
I know you're excited, and I'm sorry I was interrupting. <laughs> I just want to make sure y'all see the tutorial. <laughs> I got, I got some stairs. Oh, and no, guys, if you're not really sure why we're doing this, mm -hmm. I want to show y'all. Um, I'm actually just, um, I'm sending emails out. Um, basically, I want to show y'all kind of like the creative countdown to Christmas. And um, just different ways that you can be creative, either by yourself or with your family. Um, and just um, ways that you can kind of help celebrate the holiday. I know sometimes there's like things we want on our list. And oh, hey, Penny. Thank you for joining. And um, she's, um, she's lives oh my gosh penny where do you live i met you in california but i don't think you live in california um do any, you <laughs> anyway there's things that we want to do um for christmas but then before we know it the holiday has escaped us and we haven't done any of those things we wanted to do um so yes yeah, so i wanted to show like different creative things you can do plus i, I love, love doing artwork she stuff. lives in on oh canada that's right she's in canada canada Yes. Hi from Canada. Okay, so finish your radio station story while I finish this little. Hi, Julie. Du oh, Julie. Hey. Oh my gosh, I'm Hi. doing vinyl stencils right now. You totally understand my pain okay, when it's a big so, one. So, <laughs> um, I uh, after he said like, um, I'm trying to think what he said. So he said. Okay, so Pixie calls he, the radio oh yeah, station. I remember. Um, he said, uh, he said that like you have a request for music. I'm like, can you play God's Not Dead? And he's like, sure. I'll try. I'll try to do it. And I can to get that on there. I'm just like, okay. And then we. And he's like, okay, Merry Christmas. I'm just like, Merry Christmas. And then we hang up. I'm just like, oh my gosh. I just talked to KLTY. I just talked to the main person of KLTY. Yeah, Pixie was like. I've actually met him in, in real life. It felt weirder on um, on the phone. No, that was Frank you met in real life. Oh, this so I never met. One. Yeah, this Dude. is another one. So um, yeah, Pixie's as you can see is a pretty confident girl. And um, she got on that phone call today, and she froze up. It was so It was cute. like my surprise birthday party all over again. It was so I was cute. just like, <gasps> Okay, so basically what I've done is I took this, um, I took this vinyl stencil that I cut from my U.S. cutter, and then, let's see, yes, that one looks, okay, I'm going to have to read that comment. I can see some of y'all's comments, but, oh, hey, Brandon. Yes, that looks Pretty. Our, um, our thing is covering part of our comments, so we can't see everything. Pretty <laughs> trofty. <laughs> pretty tricky. Oh, tricky. Yes. Tricky. Julie, this one, as you know. What's this up? One is tricky. Oh, Brandon. Um, yeah. Riley's dad is on. Yes. Hi. Thank y'all for watching. We're doing some um, Christmas Christmas painting stuff for you. Look, it's a fish. Oh, and she made a little fish. <laughs> okay, so this is the next step. Um, do you, can you find me one of those makeup sponges? Oh, someone else said something. Jenna is bathing Logan <laughs> and said she really wants to paint this one. Yes, this one is so much fun. So actually, I'm, I don't have what any do of mine. Oh, can you grab that without CRM treat? Bobby is going to throw this treat away. Over there, the makeup sponge. I think it's right there. Right there. Actually, Julie, you gave me this tip. Julie is a master at palette art. And for those of y'all who have not seen Blue yet, he's still chilling. This is his little art stuff. Um, so, yeah, so Julie actually gave me this tip. So if you go to Walmart, you can get tons of these little makeup sponges. And then here is where it is really fun. Okay, I hope y'all can see this, all right? But I have um, three different greens. And I have white and red. And so what I'm going to do is just take my green. 26 days till Christmas. Oh, it's coming. And then I'm going to up and down like this with my vinyl. I'm not going to go outside my blue. Hey, it looks like it's fading. Like I know. Fading tree. I'm actually going to do different shades of green. And so what I have found, there is this awesome place in um, Granberry called Paradise Bistro. I love this place. It's amazing. Their, their um, sweet potato fries are... Oh, oh they're so good. 
Um, the ranch hurts. Can you read um, what Julie says? Did you say? Did you say he was going to throw the tree away? <gasps> yes. Why? Yes. Okay. Because so okay. So these lights right here, they're add-ons, and um, all the lights from this section and this section are out. So we had to get a new Christmas tree, and it's a white Christmas tree. My so we got a new Christmas tree. And she tree. thought she'd hate it, and it she oh, loves it now. I and, love it. And my dad wanted to throw it away because um, he thought there was no use for it anymore since it was broken, that and was we weren't going to no. use it. I wanted to. And my mom studio. tried to persuade him, and he finally went into it. I was like, no, it has to go in my art studio. So now I have like a little Christmas. I mean, I watch all my Hallmark movies and do all my paintings here. Um. So yeah, so basically I'm just going up and down with three different greens and just kind of stopping when I get to the red track. And I know right now it doesn't look like much, but it's going to look pretty cool in a minute. And what I was saying about Paradise um, Bistro, it's this what? really awesome restaurant. It's you and me. You are the big fish and I'm the teensy fish. Oh, you're going to eat me. How <laughs> <laughs> um, am I going to eat you? Paradise Bistro is an awesome I'm little tiny. cafe and they actually let me... Um, I'm the tiny. I know. Then it watches the recording. Oh, I would eat you. <gasps> oh, I'm like. Yeah, uh, that's right. Sorry. Yeah, I would eat you. <gasps> Wait, you're gonna eat me? <laughs> I'm um, and I'm they kill you. They let you put artwork up there. Um, yeah, you can't eat and you. some really. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't ruin and it. And <laughs> some restaurants will let you put your art up there for sale. And so what's pretty cool is I'll make these and then I'll just kind of put on the door. Um, oh, will you hand me a baby wipe? Yeah. Do you see one? Oh, right over there. Um, if you have a mistake like I do, just grab a baby wipe and it'll come right off. But um, I'll put like Granberry Texas on the door and then people go in there to eat and then they um, buy them as souvenirs. So I've noticed that my painting sales actually went up once I started putting the location of where um, we live because we're kind of a touristy town. Well, not our address, but you know where. Right. Not our address. We don't want to tell people our address. It's a five. I mean, you know, y'all watching can come over. Y'all seem pretty cool. Joy said, I love white Christmas trees. I know, they're amazing. I Riley says sure I love her. Hi, Riley. Hey, Riley. I wasn't sure at first, and now I'm She's like, like that's going to be horrible. It. I want all of those trees with the weird foam snow. I wanted the foam snow on you it. You know the trees that have, like, the snow, like, that looks like it's, like, covered on it? I'm just like, that's going to be so ugly. She made us a deal. Um, we can get the wife's Christmas tree, but in four years we have to get one of the snow Christmas trees that she wants. And then it broke that deal when we found the little snow Christmas trees. Yeah, we found these little bitty snow Christmas trees, and I was like, well, these will work. And then I fell in love with the white Christmas yeah. trees, so it's we're good. It's so pretty. We're good. I think I showed it on a um, picture on our Facebook. So yeah, y'all are going to see in a it. minute. I'm almost done with this. Um, just this part. I'm actually going to spruce it all up a little bit, but um, I'm almost done with just this part of it. I can't remember if I did... What do y'all think? Should I do the tires black or just keep it all red? Black. Make it look more I realistic. I can't remember what I did on the last one. It looks so cute. It's somewhere. Alright, y'all give y'all's opinions. Black for tires or keep it red? Rana Browning is watching. Hi. Tell them hi. Hello. Thanks for watching our little creative Christmas. We're going to try to do creative crafts all the way through to Christmas to kind of get y'all inspired. 26 days of Christmas. And um, Wait, no. show y'all some stuff That'd you can do. Amazing, I accidentally said 26 days of Christmas. Do you guys say black or Hi. black or gray? Okay, thanks, Sheila. I know we look crazy doing this, but it's hard to see. <laughs> We're like, what are I'm they like this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see what they're saying. Rana says black. Black? Okay. Huh? Is it Rana? Am I saying it right? I think it's Rhonda. No, it's Rona. Rona. Oh, yeah. I Black see. with a little brown brain. for mud. Okay. Oh, yeah. Like it's been getting the tree. I got it. That's I think what this part's probably going to be. Brandon said. Uh, of course, Brandon. You want this truck to go mudding. I don't think this is a mudding track. This wouldn't. Your truck and my Jeep would handle it. Oh, and Bobby got a new truck. His truck might handle it's it. It's so cool. It's blue and really pretty. 
Yeah. And I can sit in the front seat. Because so. there's three seats in the front. Oh, will you grab me some black paint right over there? Okay. Um, yeah, it's so much bigger than that car. Oh my gosh, that car was so small. And when I had to drive it. I did not like it. It was just really hard. Okay, so I'm going to try to add some black. Do we have, um, oh, I'll just make some gray. So basically, I'm just I'm just getting the basics of this, and then I'm actually gonna go back. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and, and spruce it up, but I want to show y'all kind of. Did what. you not like my beautiful saying? Nah, 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 I like nah, it when nah, I'm nah, not nah. talking. Those y'all with kids. Brandon said awesome. Totally understand. Yeah, it is awesome. Yeah, his truck is really nice. That's awesome, and the truck. Yeah. The, um. Yeah, I was like, um, totally Someone fine. Someone ruined my six. It, I found it like this. <laughs> well, you threw one, didn't you? No. Okay, so I know this painting looks mm -hmm. weird right now, but um, in a second I'm going to reveal it, so stay tuned. I'm almost ready to peel off all the stickers. So <gasps> it'll, you'll kind of see it, and then, of course, um, yes. if we still have enough battery, we might have enough battery. Then I will um, kind of spruce it up while you're on here. If I don't have enough fat, my phone might Stay die. Up. If my phone dies, Stay then up. I'll have to show you a finished product later. Okay, and if y'all would, please comment something that you want us to see us do. Again, I'm going to be doing many, many little holiday paintings and crafts as a creative countdown to Christmas. What are we going to do next time? Well, I was going to ask their opinion. What they think we should do next time. Yeah, I have what tons do you of think ideas. we should do tomorrow for a Christmas fun thing that I you think would like to learn how to do? Or maybe you already know and you just want... You want to see if we can do it. <laughs> yeah, you want to see if we can do it, like a challenge. A challenge. It's like Let's creative. do a Christmas, Christmas challenge. Who can make the other person look the most like the Grinch? We should do a face paint, a live face painting. Oh, oh we have Brendan Grinch. here. Brendan is such a good face painter. Paper snowflakes. Oh, I know how to do that. Michael Jones hunting, I think, is watching. Oh, Michelle. Oh, mm -hmm. Michelle. Sorry, I pronounced your right name wrong. <laughs> okay, I'm about to reveal this in just a second. Um, yeah, tomorrow I have... I, Tons of paintings events this month, we so some might fishy. be just little lives. We can add the fishy right here. No, we're not adding the fishy. <laughs> so get the fish, the get the fish off my truck. <laughs> <laughs> um, you ever like you that about your art? You just li <laughs> yes, live face paint. Great. I think that says idea. Yeah, that would be fun to try to It's oh. okay. Happens all the time. Let's see if we can get and um, try to get Daddy to let us face paint him live. <laughs> he would probably want to do it. He'd be like, uh, no. <laughs> no, I'm going to be in here. No, that's good. Um, so I'm just kind of adding in a little black. Again, I'm about to reveal it. It's not going to be perfect, so don't get your hopes up too high. I'm going um, <laughs> to add to it in a little bit. I'm going to sneak on Daddy. Just like, no! <laughs> But the whole, the main thing I want to show you is um, how vinyl stenciling, even if you feel like you're not an artist, and all I'm doing is putting a little black with this. If I do too much black, I go back to red. But I'm just trying to show you, even if you're not an artist, um, a vinyl cutter, oh I'm my gosh. I'm not good at shading. You can kind of just. That's the problem with my art. I'm not good how at How old shading. are you? 11. I didn't even start painting until I was 14. So, so I mean, that's three years for my age. When did you start painting? Six months old. <laughs> so you, so it's a process you have to learn. Painting's you all about painting. practice. So you were like, let's give her some paints and make her paint herself or paint the walls. I painted Simba. Simba was my first. Painting. I drew me and my daddy on my wall. <laughs> okay, are y'all ready to see and if they, this turns they, out? They tried having? to get mad at me. Remember whenever I painted me, or I didn't paint. You were three. I drew me and my dad on my wall in an apartment. And yeah, she was three at the time. And, <laughs> and they tried so to get mad at me, but they couldn't. I went in to go, Pixie, you're not supposed to draw on the wall. And then I looked and I was like, oh, 
that's the best portrait she's ever done. <laughs> and then I showed her daddy and he's like, oh my gosh, she, you know, he has like this little goatee. Well, then he had like a little goatee and she had the little goatee <laughs> draw. It was so cute. And I was like, this is adorable, but you can't draw on the wall. Just <laughs> now you can, you draw wherever you want on our walls. But so can I draw then. on the wall right now? Well, not on my side, on your side. Okay, so I'm pulling cool. this up. Can I get a pencil? Well, not right now, we're on video. Aww. Wait till we're after me. So I just pulled this little piece up like this, and then I'm just gonna put it right here. We'll just set it on the floor for now. And then I'll just take my little dental tool again. And hey, then do you have beads? pull pieces off. Do you yes. Have beads? Where? Um, Cause I want to make ornaments for this little Christmas tree. Isn't it cute? Oh, that is. Cute. And then you add beads and make it look like lights and ornaments. Oh, that's cute. Well, hey, save that. I just got paint on your onesie. I don't care. I got this. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> My red was right there. Hey, they're it's talking. on your elbow. Oh wait, no, they're not. <laughs> um, if y'all have any ideas for us, please tell us. But I'm just kind of taking off these little pieces. You never answer my question. <laughs> um, oh, save it for another video, because again, we're gonna do a bunch of these. But can I do it after this video? Oh yeah, just not okay, cool. not right now. So you're not gonna tell me whenever where the beads are? No, <laughs> not yet. I'm gonna wait. Okay. So I'm just like getting serious. these little pieces off. I don't that's even know what it looks like yet. Let me. I'll be right back. Oh, that's cute. And then. Oh, I have a perfect idea I for one day. The cinnamon ornaments. <gasps> yes. Oh, oh will you hit um, yeah. close? Yeah, I had to do close. that one. Okay. We have, um, we're about to lose our battery. So we're almost done here. But um, I'm just pulling off these little bitty, <gasps> little bitty pieces. And again, if you make a big mistake like I just did, I'll just take a baby wipe and then I just wipe it off. So Tell baby us wipe. your opinion. Do you want to make one of these cinnamon ornaments that actually smells like cinnamon? It is so good. We make them every year. I have it's one like, on my mini Christmas tree lamp. It's like our tradition. I stole, I, I stole some. And then we usually give them to teachers. I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't appreciate it as much as me and her love making them. Yeah. <laughs> but they're so fun to make. So, okay. One so, of them spells blue. So, basically, I just kind of pulled off all this stuff. Mm. And I still have a few little things to pull off, but we're about to lose battery, so I want to wrap up. But, basically, just by using the vinyl stencils i can do pretty much anything i want um, and then i'm going to go back and add kind of my artsy stuff on there so i'll go in and i'll add glitter i might write um i'll write cranberry here i might put some cool stuff in the background but for the most part um, it gets the basic the tree you know the classic tree and truck and a lot of times i've noticed on christmas paintings oh, this is the one that's blue. The, oh it says blue um, I've noticed on Christmas paintings, the simpler the better, because when you're putting it up next to all these fun decorations, um, sometimes you don't need a bunch of stuff. So we I'm gonna go a back. Giveaway. <gasps> a giveaway? Yeah. Oh, that's, I like that's that. Cinnamon ornament. Oh, maybe we'll have like for um, we'll draw somebody who shares this post. So share this post because we're gonna be doing a creative Christmas. I love making those. They're so fun. I think that says. Let's see. We're trying to read your comments. That so I made <laughs> twenty years ago. We we well we use stencils at the party yes. next week. We have some stencils for that too. I think Michelle. Oh, and I'm so glad I'm going to see you. I'm excited about that. So yeah, let's do a giveaway. So for those of you that share this video, we are about to um lose our battery so we have to go but those of you who share this video we will end um, do a giveaway of a cinnamon sugar ornament when we make this because we'll make yes. them live and then we can just mail you a fun little package there might be yeah. some extra surprises in there mm -hmm. so share this video because we are going to be doing the creative countdown to christmas to get you and um, doing fun creative things it's all about being creative so right now it's i think we're ready to go and here's the start of this. I'll post it when it's finished. All right, you got any last words for the camera dies? 26 days till Christmas. <laughs> Woo! Bye, guys. Bye. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas. Many more to come. And a happy new year.